Hello everyone, welcome back to the Pour One Out podcast today. I'm once again, wait, that is what we're called, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did yeah, you nearly yeah, forget that? It is Pour One Out podcast still, yeah. Are you still, are you still having um, th- flashbacks to your previous podcast, mate? PTSD. I am a bit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> today I'm joined once again with the wonderful Sam Briggs. Hey guys, you alright? And of course, the even fantastica that word? Fantastic. Stephen Davison. Uh, I tell you what, I'm just glad we're finally actually recorded this. We've been waiting, it is now 10 to 3 in the afternoon. We were we were ready to record <laughs> at 1pm and Matt was out fucking shopping. <laughs> Let, let's, just, let's just add to uh, that. I'm sorry like, guys. Let's just add to that as well. Last night when we were planning this, he was also so pissed that he doesn't remember what we talked about. <laughs> <laughs> we literally, literally... Got- but the good thing about it is... Well, I've on. been told that apparently I had some good ideas, which I'm really happy about. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, you did have some good ideas. Literally. Uh, so we'll, you know. Waking, waking up today was just receiving messages from Matt saying, right, boys, going to be late, still out shopping. Also, what happened last night? Yeah, yeah, that sums it up <laughs> quite well, actually. <laughs> I don't remember shit. I was just sat down with a guinea pig, and then next thing I know, apparently we had a call. Yeah. Also, uh, if you guys haven't already noticed, people thought that are watching on YouTube, Matt's already taken all the podcast money and moved to a different location. <laughs> Just for yeah, this yeah, I did. Well, actually, I uh, took all the money, went to Vegas, blew every bit of it, and now I moved back with my parents. <laughs> ah, so that's what's actually happened. <laughs> 2021 goals, am I right? Oh, okay. Yeah, literally. Yeah, yeah. Right. So, so Mike, do you want um, to introduce I what think we're doing to today? Start off today. Uh, what, what is today's subject again? Do you guys, do you guys want to remind me? Because I'm still <laughs> we, we didn't even say. Today we're just doing an episode, a bit kind of YouTube based. We're going to be talking about some some shitty YouTubers that we've met. We're going to be talking about some some more in depth stuff when it comes to YouTube. And and I mean, to be fair, we we'll probably. I mean, Matt, can you even remember what YouTube is? Uh, yeah, yeah. To be fair, I've done it long enough now that this is ingrained in my head. <laughs> How to do YouTube, however. Let's just say I'm glad I'm not the editor because I've kind of forgotten. Oh, that. great. Thanks for that. <laughs> but when you're pissed, to be fair, when you're pissed, you do remember like the most random shit. Yeah. Like, you think you start true. having conversations about all sorts of bollocks. So I was having a think this morning and I did have some flashbacks when I was pissed before. So <laughs> especially when I've been pissed with the YouTubers, I've got some good stories to tell. Oh, fantastic. Uh, if we if we get into that bit later so bas- on. So basically, but, so, uh, does someone want to start? Basically, what you're saying is wait round to the end of the episode and Matt might remember some things. Yeah, basically, yeah. Stephen, don't tell him the situation. <laughs> might do, might do. <laughs> but yeah, I'll start us off, guys. Um, we're going to go straight in with... Um, it's not a personal bad experience with a YouTuber. Oh, oh, we're going... We're going sh- Straight in with bad experiences yeah. with YouTubers. V1I is quaking. <laughs> <laughs> Sam just going straight I mean, and exposing I mean, yeah, YouTube, we, like, we, Do we know uh, this guy? We're both... Um, yeah, I, yeah, I think you, you know of him, Matt. Yeah. Um, Stephen. Nice. Stephen, I think you might have heard of him, so... Um, yeah. I, well, <laughs> By the way, guys... So, like I said, this, I this isn't... It, but... oh, oh, no. Okay, well, there's the oh, first we one. We thought we'd gotten away with it. I, I almost forgot. <laughs> Yeah, what are you guys uh, shotting today then? I, I'm, I'm on the. Uh, oh, who wants to speak sorry, first? Sorry, <laughs> I, I got a bit excited. I'm on the vodka today. Ooh, okay. Oh mate, I'm 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 going to be shotting a vintage tequila because uh, it was a choice okay. of this old vodka. That. It was a choice of this old vodka, and we thought, you know what, we'll we'll, we'll be diverse. We'll rep- we'll represent each community on. Yeah, this yeah, fair, no, like, very nice, Matt very Dew nice. Vodka. So uh, I'm I'm representing I'm representing all the people that have just turned eighteen out there with the sours. I think ah, oh, it's gonna be gen- WKD. Eighteen's Eight, <laughs> generous, mate. I think we're talking more fourteen, fifteen. <laughs> Look, <I'd>, <laughs> mate, mate, <laughs> we're four episodes in, and every single episode you've already made it sound like I've caught a case somewhere. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, it's. I don't have to say much, and it still looks that way. Yeah, well, yeah, very true. But anyway, I'm gonna down this. So uh, hold on a sec. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Go on, down Ooh, it and sorry, tell us sorry. how shitty this YouTuber is. Are they even? <laughs> so, it is a YouTuber, is it? Yeah, or is it like yeah, a social a media YouTuber. star? Nah. Like what? What are they classed as? Nah, we don't go for none of these TikTokers. What's that? Nah, we go straight for the YouTubers, mate. Sorry, Sam, with your viral. Sorry, Sam, with, yeah. your, with your viral TikTok and Sam yeah. in wow. Matt's viral TikTok. Yeah, Stephen, yeah. You're, you're the my one. My missus is a famous TikToker. I'm well <laughs> with the trends. Hey, nice one. But yeah, this person. Um, She'll message me right after and say, "I'm not famous." <laughs> 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 oh, mate. I just went to Primark twice. I'm not famous. <laughs> Do you know something funny that happened the other day? My little cousin said to me, "How long have I been married to my girlfriend?" And I was like, 
what? And he goes, your last name's <laughs> Arthur now, isn't it? I was like, Arthur? I was like, do you mean Arthur? Which is obviously <laughs> Katie's last name. Yeah, yeah, And uh, yeah. I was like, oh no, we're not married. Why do you Why do you think we're married? He goes, well, you say the missus. I'm like, oh shit, yeah, I suppose that probably does confuse some people. <laughs> no, that's just, you know, that's just a northern saying, isn't it, so... Yeah, 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 it must be. So, yeah, no, just to clarify, we're not married yet. Uh, hopefully someday, but not yet. I think... But... I think... And funny, funny enough, I think he's also... I think, um, I think he's also the same age as uh, the people who drink sours. Oh, great. Nice. <laughs> but yeah, we're seven minutes right, into, this get into this Right, should we get into this YouTuber story? We're almost yeah, seven minutes yeah, in, right. Yeah. So, Let's so give I'm, the people what they like, actually want to hear. Right. The, uh, we're so, seven minutes in and we've just talked shit. <laughs> We haven't even drank yet. <laughs> uh, well, I, I've had mine, but okay. You better have, no, drunk, I mean, better have drank now, Matt. Uh, no, I mean, we have, we're not pissed yet. Oh, all right, yeah, true. Oh, okay, yeah. Right, so... Right, tell us who this yeah, right, YouTuber right, is. Let's just get on with it. Right, so, the YouTuber, Jake Boys. You might have heard of him, you might not have done. Oh, shit, not Jake Boys. Yeah, my guy. No, like this him. isn't a bad story, Be no. Before I, before I start, I like him as a person and as a YouTuber, okay? I, I need to make right, that clear. Okay. I need to make that clear. This... This is a story that I've experienced, but it's not my story, if you get me. Right, I was okay. there when it happened, okay. right? So, hello. He's got to be pretty bad because I, I like Jake Boyd, yeah. I will defend him. <laughs> no, I'll defend him as well, but this was just a bit like over the edge. I managed you know? to defend Logan Paul for two years, I'm sure I can defend him as well. <laughs> right, so basically, lads, basically, right. Hello Scream 2015, you remember it? I don't know if you do. I remember Hello Scream. Yeah, okay. Uh, me and Jake Boyd, you know, hanging out just to flex. No, I'm joking. We were really hanging out. I, no, I, showing off. I, they, he was in the back room because he'd been meeting people all day, uh, which is fair oh. enough, you know, chilling out a little bit. Uh, I go into the back room because I was grabbing something. I can't remember what it was, but I was going to pick something up. I ended up having a good chat with him. Um, anyway, it comes to me leaving the back room and there's this girl stood outside of it and um, she's like crying her eyes out because she's come all the way from wherever she came from. I couldn't tell what the accent was, I'm not going to lie. But she came from wherever she came from. Give, um, give us an impression. <laughs> give us an impression. Yeah. Give us an impression so. no, uh, but yeah, she came from wherever she came from. She was in <laughs> tears, stood outside of this, um, like outside of the door for the back room. And she was like, I just I just want to meet Jake, boys. Can you go and get him for me? You know, like they do, like three yeah, tears. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was like, yeah, like yeah, no. do. yeah. The scum. <laughs> the scum. How dare you? <laughs> 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 but yeah, um, so I was like, yeah, you know what, no worries. I'll, I'll just pop back in, I'll go get him. Um, so I go back in there, um, and obviously he's still chatting to his mates and stuff. And I say to him, look, mate, there's, yeah. a, there's, a, there's a girl out there, she's about to leave, she's crying. Uh, all she wants to do is meet you, get a photo, and that's it, right? So, to, well, in my mind, I'd be like, yeah, that's just 20 seconds out of my time, you know, I'll go do it. Uh, but Jake, yeah. Jake boys went, nah, mate. Can you just tell her I'm too busy? And oh, yeah. And I was, I just turned uh, around. I, like, in my head, I'm thinking, well, how, how? I don't want to, I don't want to annoy Jake boys. I'm, I'm a nobody, and he's got all these thousands of subscribers. <laughs> I don't want to annoy him. But how do I say to him? But that's not how you be a YouTuber, mate. <laughs> you know, big, that, big and powerful, big yeah. and powerful Jake boys. You don't, you don't want to upset him. Yeah, you know. The, but like. But, I'll get the boys on you. <laughs> yeah, I'll get the man then. <laughs> but you know, like I didn't. So I said to him, "Look, mate, it's just a quick photo. That's all she wants. She'll be over the moon with it." And then he was like, "Nah, mate, I, I really can't be bothered. So just, can you just tell her I'm too busy, mate?" So I, I went out there, <sighs> mate. When I say I was heartbroken for her, right? I went out there, told her, "Look, <laughs> he's too busy." I didn't tell him. Didn't tell her what he was doing. Obviously, he was just sat there talking to his mates, but. <laughs> didn't oh. tell her what he was doing and she oh mate she full on was like Wah! full on breaking down and I was like oh shit what do I do here so anyway I, I ended up saying look sorry I've got to go but um, hopefully you do get to see him before you leave <laughs> <laughs> she said pulling her eyes out you know like I've got to go by <laughs> I say to her I've got to go right I say to her I say to her I'm Mr. Comedy Sam he's the man <laughs> But yeah, I say to her, I've got to go. All I was doing was going to the bar to get a pint, lads. I'm not going to lie. I was recently 18, so you know. Anyway, oh, <laughs> so I went to the bar. Anyway, I come back around the corner with my pint in my hand, and Jake Boys all of a sudden stood outside taking a photo with her, and I'm like, hold on a minute, what's going on here? So oh, right, okay. somebody else has then ended up going into the thingy, say, saying to him again, look, th this person is like practically on the floor begging you to come out, just do it. So he, he looks like hella, he doesn't look like he's in the best of moods doing this. So he's, his face in that photo, I, I can only imagine, looked awful. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, 
but yeah, that's basically my experience with him. Like I said, I, I'm like I support him, and I, he's a great guy. But from an outside perspective, that just Clearly. that just wasn't yeah, yeah wasn't great from him. I feel like Stephen would probably make a video about you now for that. <laughs> Sam Briggs exposed Jake Boy. <laughs> no, I, t I tell you that's something I've got. To, I've got that's something I've got to make a point of doing it with this with this podcast. If we have people come on who reveal stories and stuff, I can't be like, oh, I'll jot that down for a video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cheers <laughs> video. We expect likes. Stephen to sign some sort of agreement that he won't use this for his own channel. <laughs> <Yeah. if he laughs> we've got yeah, we've got him to sign a NDA. <laughs> <laughs> my o my only defense for Jake boys right and this is just from experience which I've seen because I had the exact same experience with Vic started at Load Event yeah. is he's probably been told that story a million times that oh, day yeah, alone yeah, yeah. let alone <clears throat> the day before the day before the day before the day before mm -hmm. and I've met a lot of people who are upset whatever uh, but they can be rude like in the nice way I've met fan fans I guess not for me for other people that are actually quite rude yeah um, so I, I've said to people before, oh no, I, you know, I don't know him or, or they're busy. They're proper like shitty about it. So I'm not saying she was, I'm sure she was sweet. But you know what I mean? If he's been like, for example, treated like shit by someone. And that's to be fair, another point leading on to that. In Jake Boys' perspective, anything could have been going on in his situation. Well, so yeah, for example, yeah. imagine if he just found out that let's say, you know, like his, his dog died, for example. He would feel pretty shit because as much as like we are sort of friends, I'm saying like you did know him and that. We don't really know him to the point which you know maybe his family know him. You know well, see, anything yeah. could have just happened to the point where he's like, I don't I mean, want to see anyone. I, just... I mean, to be to to be fair, to be fair, Sam did say he was just sat in there talking to his mate. See, I, I didn't. Yeah, like, yeah. I, I went in there like whilst he was mid conversation, so I don't really know what he was talking about. It could have been serious, and they could have switched topic as I walked in. I don't know. All right, fine. He's a piece of shit, right? <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 to be fair, like you said, Matt, though, he could have been talking about something or somebody that had just recently passed yeah. or something. I don't know that. Because uh, I yeah. walked in. It and... could have been his first time, you know, sitting down all day. There's always going to be that one extra person you've got to meet. Like, you know what I mean? It's, it yeah. never stops oh, for big YouTubers. Tell, tell me about it. Tell me about it. Yeah, yeah, Stephen, you know, <laughs> wouldn't you, mate? It, yeah, just, yeah, it, yeah. it does get tiring, <laughs> you know, because of, of, of the love of the fans. Oh, yeah, for yeah, sure. exactly. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, let's move on swiftly. Um, I don't really want to say this because Stephen's about to be honest, gone. One thing I did want to go into and just kind of move in from that is okay. fan culture. I know we didn't discuss this when planning this episode. Bloody hell, Stephen. Right, okay, I don't remember then. anything about planning it, so <laughs> we, might well have, we might well have made this part of the plan. Right. Right, fan culture. Well, actually, what do you mean by that? Just, well, just the way, obviously, because you, um, because you brought up the fact that obviously this this girl was practically on the floor <coughs> begging for him to come out, like, that's a weird fucking thing. Like, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, also, also, just also because. <laughs> fuck. That's okay. that's a new topic. <laughs> well, down go, down it goes, down the hatch, lads. <laughs> I'll, I'll do my first and then go go on to oh, it. I've already done mine. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm going to let you tread into this one because I do not want to be <laughs> going into fan culture and say the wrong thing. Stephen, you can take the bullet, mate. <laughs> yeah. That, that's fine. I've got no fans. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean because of that. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, no, I just think, it's, all right, when I say fan culture, I obviously, I think I'm all, I mostly mean stan culture. Same shit. Yeah, well, no, not necessarily because I'd say, like, there's a lot of YouTubers I would say that I'm a fan of, but... I mean, when it comes to Stan, I'm 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 just busted all the way. Right. Okay. So Stan is like <laughs> next. It, the way I've always looked at it. All right. Stan is like being obsessed with. So for example, me and Logan Paul like Stan. Yeah. Whereas me and no, I wouldn't. E I wouldn't even say you're a Stan. I would, would you say, not? I'd say you're close. You haven't seen say, my so uh, Logan Paul fan page. Well, yeah. <laughs> Have you actually got one, mate? <laughs> <laughs> Go on, lad. The term Stan comes from that Eminem song called Stan about Yeah, this, yeah, I saw that somewhere. Was, like, obsessed with him and yeah, so it literally did literally did come from there. It's about a fan who was like obsessed and dresses like the person and you know, the all shit like that. I said, Oh maybe 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 you are a Stan actually, Matt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 maybe. <laughs> right, lads, um it we're fifteen minutes I, into the episode, we kind of need to uh you know, <laughs> we've talked about one topic, lads. Yeah, before we uh, <laughs> cause controversy by saying the wrong thing about fans, let's, uh, yeah, move let's, on. <laughs> let's just move on. Um, well, I mean, we were about to go into another, another topic, weren't we? Uh, the fan culture thing. It's it's a ropey topic. You don't want people like... Uh, all right, all right, all yeah. right. Sorry, I forgot I forgot we were the podcast that pussyfoots around. No, nah, like we, we don't. Look, we <laughs> don't. However, I don't want to be cancelled before the end of January, mate. <laughs> Okay, right, okay. All right, all right we'll right, save it for February. Right, yeah, yeah, right. we'll save it for February. Yeah, that's a, that's a whole okay. that's a whole episode in itself. What's the next topic then? Because I, I was too pissed to remember. 
I mean, you real you realize though because of Sam now. No, but oh, oh you. Fuck. Sorry, lads. Sorry, but I had to. That's, that's Sam's. That's Sam's fault. We, we, we. I was ready to talk about that for a few minutes, but that's another topic. Okay. Fair enough. Oh. Okay. This ain't gonna end well. <laughs> Oh, it's funny just hearing the noises after. Oh, that sounded. That sounded weird. Just that. Uh, <laughs> <after it. laughs> That's definitely a clip for Twitter, lads. <laughs> oh, right, what's next? For, for anyone listening on audio, that's going to sound awful. Yeah, YouTube oh, God, and accountability. Yeah, yeah, we are drinking. <laughs> YouTube and accountability is what we're going to be talking about next, which I feel like okay. is more so your guys' topic than mine because I don't do it anymore. Um, accountability. So, well, Stephen was, can explain. <clears throat> I mean, to be fair, you can also, I was talking, in, I mean, maybe that's also kind of an accountability thing, but I was talking less about, like, me and Matt, but I was talking, I was talking more about, I mean, there, there's the age-old argument of selling things to young fans, which is, like, you know, how, where, where does that, where does that stand on, on the moral scale? Wait, wait, you know wait, I mean? hold on a minute, let me stop Business. you there. Are you calling out Ollie White? Yeah, what? <clears throat> You are. are you calling out Ollie White? <laughs> no, Jack May did that. I'm calling out TGF. <laughs> ah, okay, fair. Oh, okay, really? TGF had well, well no, nice I mean, so well, many. I mean, TGF. Did you not? Do you not remember like a year or so ago when TGF released fucking? You know, because obviously TGF's entire channel is, hey, watch us do this. It's basically Jackass, but YouTube. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Like, watch us do this really fucking stupid thing, but obviously don't try it at home because we're stupid. But then they released literal dare cards, like, and sold them to their fans who are young people. I didn't know and about they, that. And it was, I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. No. And these card, these cards were literally, it was literally like you pick a card and it'd be a dare, basically. But right. The but these dares were not shit. Like, oh, um, put, put some ice cubes down your pants or something, which is the sort of thing That's you think. Oh, weird. maybe. Well, yeah, it's kind of weird. It's the sort of thing. <laughs> Well, it's the sort of thing you'd think, oh, well, maybe that's the kind of dare that, you know, you can right, get okay. what, having in one what of these What sort of games. thing were they doing then? <clears throat> Give us an one example. Of the, one of them was literally, like, go and get in someone's car. What? Some like, random person's it car? Was yeah, no, it was literally shit like that. One of them was um, uh, ro uh, run over a car, something like that. Um, yeah, but it, it was basically, it was all shit like that. It was all shit that... Um, you would expect to see in a TGF video. So it was on brand, right. but it was like, why the fuck are you selling this to your audience? Yeah. They're definitely no older than 15. I was going to say that. I feel like, like that surely they would have given some sort of age rating with this. Like, surely they would have said this is an 18 plus, or there's some sort like, of, you know, parental they, guidance on the box. Yeah, like... I don't is, think there was. I don't was think there? there was. Really? So, I mean, that's I what, I've never heard of that before. That's, that's a bit weird, that. I mean, they're, they're very good at selling shit. They've got a very dedicated audience, and I quite like TGF. But I mean that well, from a, someone who's never heard that before, that is a bit weird. Yeah, same. Well, that's yeah, the yeah. thing. Like obviously, I don't, obviously the whole my, my main point of the YouTube and accountability thing wasn't just oh let's attack TGF. It was yeah, just I like TGF. it was it was just YouTubers and YouTube channels who go who well it's, it's I mean it's that it's also there's YouTubers who've literally made videos admitting to crimes. Well, I th I, I was thinking more like what's it Mini Lad is like oh, a known paedophile yes, yeah. and he's still out making like millions. Yeah. This is what I saw on a tweet the other day. I know nothing about this. <clears throat> Mini Lad the uh, the V one the V one I think I made made a joke about him earlier. Well, v V one I does like yeah like he does his own thing now doesn't he like which is he shouldn't be allowed to be on the platform anymore. But he's doing his own thing in psychedelics, apparently. Oh, like I've seen a couple really? of videos. Uh, I don't know if he's who the fuck is the V One? <laughs> Mate, he... he's that bloke who he's that bloke who used to have candy floss hair. He used to much. hang out with um, Luke, Luke is Luke, not sexy. Yeah, Luke is not that. sexy. Emma Blackery. I don't. I think this is like the generation too old for me in the nicest way. Oh, I don't remember. Don't recognise any of them. Mate, 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 mate! You can't be doing that to me. <laughs> you can't. You can't be going. Oh, this is the generation you know before me. This is what my granddad used to watch on YouTube. <laughs> You are like my, my granddad. We're, we're only two years older <laughs> than you, mate. Don't do this. <laughs> YouTube um, granddaddy. Oh my god. So, so accountability then. Who, who's that? Is this aimed at uh, Stephen? Is this because uh, Well and E scammed you? Uh, 
<laughs> no, 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 no. If you guys although, haven't, although, if you guys although, haven't seen Stephen's video, although, yeah. You do, although you do, you do raise a good point. <laughs> that whole thing, that that whole thing. All right. So I mean, I did. I obviously I kind of baited it a lot. I did for the Will and he scammed his fans. Obviously, he didn't scam his fans. That was just a bait title. But the but with that whole thing, the web on the night the website broke. Right. Yeah. And people were trying to order what what size they wanted. But yeah. the, when the, but when they got through to the got through to the checkout, it wasn't the size they ordered. But and it was a case of so a lot of thankfully I checked and I I saw I was trying to order my size and it had gone through as a small, and just I put my payment details in just before I, play, I pressed complete order I noticed and cancelled it. Yeah. But okay. Right. So many people on Twitter were saying, "What the fuck's happened? I've paid. I, I've paid for the. I've paid. And it was expensive stuff as well." Of course, it's like, YouTube merch. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, but it was also like probably cost like a fiver to make. It, well, yeah, because it's under, but it's because it's under the under the guise of being a proper clothing line drop rather than a YouTube merch thing. Yeah, yeah, that's but what so they all they fucking say. Kind of, so they could get. That's what. That's what Maverick do as well. Like, exactly. I like the Maverick merch, but they also yeah, they, yeah. they also pump the prices up a little bit because it's a oh yeah line. yeah. Um, but obviously, I'm here but, to defend Logan Paul yeah, no, in any situation. But yeah, at least yeah. I can say, well, Logan did it oh, first. No, no, Everyone, no, everyone's yeah, copying no, now. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing, but the thing is with that, but the thing is with that Will and E thing, they literally, um, like, I think I can't. I, he didn't. I think the merch went on sale at like eight p.m. or something. It wasn't till yeah. twenty to ten. He even said anything about there being issues on Twitter, and he was tweeting through the whole thing, saying, "Oh, I can't believe these are selling out." Yeah, it was literally in the bit but 20, to 10, 20, to, 20 to ten. He tweeted saying, "Oh, uh, if you're having any issues, email this thing, email this account." And then, literally, a day, the day the day after, he put out a big thing and said, "Oh, you know, in the chaos of it all, some of you might have ordered the wrong size." In the right. chaos of it all was your fucking website breaking, mate. It wasn't yeah, no, until... is, is that is that's not his fault? No, would you say? no, 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 no. That's not no that that's not his fault. But he's also refusing to take any blame for it. He is the right, one. Okay. Him and his okay. company have set up that website and should know how how like roughly how many people are going to go and try and buy this <clears> merch. Yeah, and the mm. website for and they just did not take any responsibility for it. It was just like, oh yeah, you know, in the chaos of it all, you they put all the blame on the people that were ordering. Like, oh well, you right. know, in the chaos of it all, you're the ones who ordered the wrong thing. Okay. And it wasn't. It wasn't until literally um, about. I, th I think it was like mid. To, oh, was, I think it was just before Christmas uh, Eve. Uh, Will and E put an Instagram story finally actually saying like, oh yeah, no. So basically, the website the website messed up a bit. And that so he's finally most, admitted it. Then. That's the most right, okay. of the culpability that they've admitted into them yeah. being the ones that are fucked up. And yeah. There's people that there's people still commenting on my video saying they got sent the wrong size and shit. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Like and that's what I mean. That's the sort of thing with accountability. It's like yeah, no one thinks it's your fault, mate. But just admit that there's a problem and admit that you that you and your team fucked up a bit. Don't. But I mean, that's that's all PR stuff, and YouTube yeah. is so base. So so many YouTubers like that are based around have good PR. Don't look like you don't don't accept responsibility for anything. Yeah. Well, Apart I mean, could you could, who could did it accept responsibility and just kind of got on with it? Could you admit that like people should have just checked? Like, I get it's a mistake. I'd be fucking fuming if I was them as well. Uh, but could you admit? Well, you realise, Stephen. Oh, yeah. So shouldn't everyone else have realised as well? Like. The website yeah, fucked no, up. Definitely. They don't. They, I guarantee they don't own the hosting domain, which makes the website. They're probably using some oh, yeah, sort no. of service. It does it. Yeah. No. Definitely. No. Definitely. People could. People could have noticed. People should probably have checked. But you shouldn't have to check. Yeah. You know no. No. That no, no, makes sense. You, yeah. Like it was. It was one of those websites as well where it was like. Um, so you put um, obviously you put your size in and go to the car and then once you go through it was one of those where like. On the top right is the thing you actually ordered, but all the checkout and everything is on the left of the screen. One of those type ones, right, okay. which is yeah, going to yeah, sound yeah. vague as fuck. But yeah, so it's a case. So it's a case of like the the actual thing you ordered. Even that's quite small. So the size of the thing you've ordered is quite small as well. And it's like if you're not specifically looking, I just checked it. In, I I don't even know why I checked it. I just kind of glanced over. Probably to make sure I was ordering the right the right thing because it was quite a bit of money. 
But at the same time, yeah, I, I always, I always I'm over double check. What I'm, I'm over ordering. eighteen. A lot of the people that are ordering this, ordering that merch, are going to be getting it from their parents for Christmas because it's start yeah. of December. Yeah, that sort of thing. So they they're just going to be excited and in the rush of it all because they know it's going to sell out. They're just right quick. I'm on. I'm going to buy it now. And yeah. then they've fought, they've forked out fifty five quid for a hoodie or whatever it was. Fucking hell. And yeah, no, some shit like that. Fifty five quid for a hoodie, and then find out <laughs> you mean the you forked out fifty five quid for a hoodie? <laughs> no, 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 I got I got I got a t shirt. I'm not paying fucking fifty five quid. Oh, for Steve, a <laughs> Steve was like, don't, no, 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 don't, don't. I'm not one of them. I paid forty nine. Thank you very much. <laughs> I paid forty nine for a Vista print for a Vista print t shirt. Mate, <laughs> mate, the t shirt oh, was thirty. The t-shirt oh, was 30 quid. I got it just because right, I, yeah, yeah. I actually really like the t-shirt, but still. That's fair enough. Then. Mean, yeah, yeah. No, if it's, if it's good, I'm only taking the piss, but. No, yeah, no, fair enough. But I mean, yeah, no, I know, I know we've kind of, I know I've kind of rambled a bit with, with the accountability thing, but it was just, just a bit, mate. Yeah, but, but I mean, it's, it's just that sort of thing, isn't it? It's like, yeah. you know, if you're a YouTuber, whether you like to, whether you think so or not, you've got a responsibility. Yeah. Yeah. But and again, I think, I think it takes people something to learn that. In my experience, anyway, something has got to happen for you to eventually sort of take the blame and accept that, okay, maybe it was my fault. And, you know, being a part of life, you're going to get a lot of people who are stubborn and will refuse to apologise for anything, which is fine. Everyone's entitled to do what they want. And you do meet them arseholes, which will not say sorry for anything and everything is your fault. But I generally think, I generally believe this with my whole heart, it takes everything, sorry, it takes something to happen to you to make you realise that you've got to fucking just say sorry and just take the bullet and just say, right, okay, maybe I was wrong. Yeah, I was going to say, stay, stay on the to-, to stay on the topic a little bit longer, do you think YouTubers expect their agents or, you know, business partners or whatever to take the blame rather than them? No, I think they expect them to help them smooth things out. Like the Logan Paul, yeah. the Logan Paul... The Logan Paul thing at the time, let's not pretend, like the video he came back with, the whole suicide prevention thing, let's not pretend that was anything, I mean, I like Logan Paul, but let's not pretend that was anything other than a PR stunt. That yeah. was, we need to make Logan Paul look like a good guy now. I mean, they had about 50 fucking shots of him washing his hands. Like, that subliminal messaging of he's washing his hands with the situation, that's literally the whole point they do that. Right, yeah. And it's... And it's that sort of thing. I mean, that's why you. But I mean, that's why YouTubers hire PR teams. Like it's I to mean, get them out fucking, of the situation. Look at like Jeffrey that, Star. Yeah. Jeffrey well, yeah. Star. Christ, yeah. Yeah. Fucking General Grievous. <laughs> he still has a career, and uh, somehow. Well, we I were mean, talking about this on the uh, on the Zoom last like last night. We were just saying, you know, every single week he seems to have something else. Yeah, 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 yeah. Every time I go on my YouTube subscriptions, Callum's uploaded a video about Callum Mark about fucking uh, uh, Jeffrey Star. I mean, to be um, fair, he makes a vi- he makes a video every fucking day. He's got to find something to do. Yeah, yeah no, no, it's good. It's respect <laughs> that this like that that he's making these videos, but it's just it's always Jeffrey Star. Uh, and yeah. it's like, how how is this guy still going? <clears throat> I don't know, I don't know how Callum Markey does it. To be fair, I checked his cha- I checked his channel like a month or so ago, and he was, he was like. Fucking videos every single day, fifteen minutes long. It's like, man, yeah, yeah, no respect. I, I, I struggle to do six minute videos every week. Like, what the fuck? How the fuck are every you? Every month, Stephen. No, I mean, no don't, don't keep to this every I mean, week thing. To be fair, I say that he's getting paid for it, isn't he? I suppose I'd probably make videos a lot. I'd probably make a lot more videos if I was getting paid for it. <laughs> Before we go any further, I think if we just go on a quick ad break, just so I can get another drink, um, and also after the break, I've got a really exciting story to tell about my experience with. Uh, no other than Tom Syndicate and his sister. So stay Ooh, tuned after the break. We'll see you in a minute. And welcome back to part two of today's Pour One Out podcast. Once again, I'm still here with Sam and Stephen, and today's subject. Hello. I can't is start. YouTubers. I can't, I can't stop laughing. <laughs> Yeah, no, so, 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 so we were talking about, you know, bad YouTuber stories, and, um, story, good stories, I suppose, bad stories, the shitty stories like Jake Boyers being a lazy prick. Um, but yeah, we, um, and, you know, <laughs> we'll swiftly move on to, into good YouTubers, though. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because we don't want to talk about so, bad ones I mean, too Matt, long. you know, well, I, th- I reckon we get into your syndicate story because you said you had a good I, however, think yeah, we need to take a good. shot before so, this. Oh yeah, yeah, sure. But you know, but I mean, before we get into that, if you're going to talk about Will and E still, please. <laughs> <laughs> and one more thing on this T-shirt. <laughs> you know, I'm really annoyed with this T-shirt actually. 
<laughs> Do you know what? I was gonna wear, I was gonna wear it today, but I didn't have time to have a shower before we start. We, just, we clipped Stephen just saying how how fucked up he is at this Will and situation. He's there just wearing his merch. <laughs> That'd be jokes. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, that would have been perfect. That would have been perfect. I should have done oh, that. Stephen, mate, hit that oh. gong because I've refused to drink without it. Yeah, come on, hit the gong, hit the gong. I mean, I already did, but I'll do it. Yeah, guys. yeah, again. Oh, there it is, guys. <laughs> I reckon that means we need to do two, but, you know. No, 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 no. Okay, so, <laughs> to start of this story, the first thing that I want to say is when I had to pick, like, my good YouTubers for this, the top of my list was the one and only Tom Syndicate. I'll tell you reasons why, because I've met him a few times now. The first time I ever met him, I think I was probably, like, 15 or something, and it was at EGX, okay. and I was there yeah. with two of my school friends, and uh, we were first, like one of the first in queue to meet him. Before we even like sort of start queuing up properly, before like people realised Syndicate was there, he came up to us personally and spoke to me and my mates, uh, just to say hi, say he's looking forward to meeting us, whatever. So I thought one that's really cool. Like he came to the queue, stood next to us, and there's like people swarming him, but he spoke to us through. Yeah, that's. Anyway, so after cool. that, uh, we went onto the onto this YouTube stage. It was a YouTube gaming stage, and uh, so I'm obviously I sort of. Not that I get it, but I didn't want to be sort of rude. So I sort of just like, yeah, we'll take a photo if that's all right, mate, and then we'll leave you to it. But Syndicate respect to him because he carried on talking. He kept like sort of reassuring me and my friends that he wanted to talk for a bit. So we honestly stayed with him for a good 10, 15 minutes. Even, and oh. bear in mind, we were sort of like prime fanboys at this point. Well, I wasn't. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Not my friends, but um, he would kept on wanting to talk to us. Even though the queue was getting bigger and bigger, he just carried on speaking to us and he was a really nice guy. So ever since that first interaction, I automatically branded him as like a really good, honest, and sort of nice YouTuber. And to this day, he is definitely one of the most genuine people. Not just a YouTuber, genuine people I've ever met. So CSGO must have taken you by surprise. To be honest with you, I didn't really look into that because I, you know, I never played it. I fucking hated that game because it took over George's life. So I never got to speak to him because he was always playing that fucking game. So I didn't yeah. No, I see, I, um, uh, I actually yeah. have, like, Syndicate's merch and stuff like that. I really, yeah, just yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I've, I've never actually met him. I've had so many opportunities to meet him, but it's always, like, fallen through at the last minute. Um, yeah, that's a shame. And I've, I've watched him <laughs> since his Call of Duty days, like, right back before he even, like, because he became, like, huge from Minecraft as well as Call of Duty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and, you know, I've, I've not stopped watching him the entire journey that he's been on, and it's just amazing. Um... He... You know the you know the sex you know the sex stories episode and I mentioned there was um like my ex roommate and one of the girls was around to see him that yeah. sort of thing. Um if you if you haven't seen that, go see the sex stories episode, it's amazing. Um yeah. wow. that, ex wow. Wow. that ex free roommate promo was that ex roommate was like obsessed with Syndicate. Was he? <laughs> yeah, no, he he went he went to Insomnia. He's not he, he's not into YouTube generally, anything like that. He was just really into Syndicate. Right, yeah, yeah, that's cool. A, he, he went to Insomnia, well, it would have been 2019, went to Insomnia 2019 just to meet Syndicate. Nice. Really? Damn, right. nice fair. He spent, so, he spent so much money on hotels and trains yeah. and everything. Oh, bless him. And he was like, if I, get, if I get one picture with Syndicate, then it's worth it. And he, and he did it. So, oh, you know what? Fair, fuck, yeah, yeah. Nice respect, one. respect. Nice one. So... I'll carry on with my story, just because I don't want to take too long in this, right? So, fast forward a couple of years, and me and my friends were at a YouTube event, and uh, we were quite big in the industry at the time, with our companies, whatever. Um, so we were sort of, like, Ooh, getting invited to, right. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got every reason to brag, because there's only two times a year where I brag, and one is when I'm at events. I will turn so <laughs> egotistical, because I'm so fucking proud. Anyway. What's the other so, time? What's the other time? You know what? I said two. I think because I go to normally two different types of events, I normally go to VidCon and Sitsi. It was neither of those events, just for the next story. But um, I think that's that's the reason why I said that. I'm not sure. It might just be alcohol. <laughs> Fair enough, you hear you. Anyway, so I'm at a different event Fair a few enough. years ago <laughs> with my group of friends. And uh, we've got quite a big group of us. Anyway, so the, the head of the event, the owner of the event, somehow invites me and George, not the company, nothing to do with that. He invites me and George personally to his party later on. Um, and the only reason why was because we were in a, we were in a hot tub and um, we went to our hotel, sorry, and me and George were going to go into this hot tub and there was like this really big muscly guy sat in the hot tub and I was just like, oh no, I don't want to sit in there, I'm scared, he might beat me up, whatever. And George was like, it's fine, it's fine, stop being a pussy. So I said, right, I'll go to the toilet, I'll come back. I get back and George is just chatting to him in the hot tub, like both got their arms next to each other, they're just chatting away, like having the dream. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, fuck's sake, so George is like, oh yeah, Matt, this is the head of blah, 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 blah. I'm like, fucking how nice. Anyway, so we get chatting, he invites us to this party. So later on we go to this party and we get to the door 
uh, and he comes to the door, uh, the actual like guy, so bear in mind, he, he's his party, you know what I mean, he's going to be pissed. He comes to the event, yeah. and uh, he's just like, oh yeah, 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 Matt, George, yeah, come in, come in. And then we said, oh, can our friends come, they work with so-and-so, and he's like, yeah, yeah, bring them all in, don't worry. So he let us all into this party. Uh, which was great. Anyway, so we're sat around this table, say a little like booth table. There's probably maybe like eight or nine of us sat around of it. And bear in mind, there's all these big YouTubers there, like sort of like the Vanos gaming lot, um, loads of fucking like sort of more gaming YouTubers, but like big YouTubers. Anyway, so yeah. Syndicate's there, and uh, so we're sat there, and he he was just chatting to everyone. So he came over to our table, uh, and he said hello, whatever, and he's like, "Fucking hell, lads, you need to get some more girls around here." So me being me, fucking hammered, I was like, "Oh <laughs> yeah, get your sister." Oh no, mate. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. it sort of just, it's, it sort of just came out. <laughs> <laughs> I bet he found that hilarious because he's got a good humour. Now, luckily, oh. luckily, he found it funny. Like, I could, he was pissed anyway. Like, I mean, we all were. But luckily, he found it funny. And he's like, oh yeah, good one. Um, and he's like, have a good night, lads. I'll see you in a bit. So I carry on. And then I, everyone's sort of staring at me. They're like, fucking, I cannot believe you just said that. He's the biggest guy in this room. Yeah. Uh, like, subscribe or like, he's quite, <laughs> he's quite short. But I was like, oh my god. But luckily he found out a joke anyway. So that, that was one time where I met him. And later on in the night I was chatting to him again. He's a proper, proper nice, genuine guy. I really do get along with him well. Even when I'm not like a big YouTuber, he still has a time to sort of make conversation and just be nice. And like what I always liked yeah. about him was like when I've met him at events, like he's openly, maybe this is just my alcoholic side coming out, but he's openly pissed. Like he's brought me like Jaeger bombs and shit before when he's not known me. Just because he loves just everyone being happy and everyone having a good time. He just loves the good vibes, yeah. That makes sense. And then that makes sense. there was another time where he had his own party at a different, it could have been a different event, I think it was. He had his own party and again, me and my friends are there still. Um, so we're speaking to everyone, we're getting along with all the like, big YouTubers and stuff. Think, fucking hell, how have we done this? This is sick. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> how the fuck have we got it? <laughs> so um, we, <laughs> we go into the bathroom and then uh, Syndicate says, I'll hold the door for me. Me and George go in and, he, and George holds the door for him. So you know how when you have a piss in a urinal, you leave a gap in between. Yeah. Just, it's like men's yeah, code definitely. sort of thing. Yeah. So me and yeah. George are stood either side of the cube, this urinal. Then Syndicate comes in the middle of us and starts pissing. Oh, he didn't give a fuck. He's like, yeah. I <laughs> um, nice so we're there chatting. We're there chatting, just having a laugh, whatever. He's like, having a good night, blah, blah, blah. And then he looks at George and he goes, fucking hell, mate, that belongs on Small Hub. <laughs> and I shit you not, it was no. the funniest fucking thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> George's idol has just ripped into him for saying he's got oh a small cock. <laughs> oh, that is, oh. man, that is top tier. It was fucking, that obviously he was looking at George, he didn't even see his cock, but it was fucking hilarious. He yeah. got roasted by like, George <laughs> loved Syndicate, like he absolutely adored him. He watched all his videos, everything. So for him to get roasted That's by a like favourite like YouTuber. Goals. Yeah, it was amazing. He absolutely loved it. So yeah, that was sort of my experience. I've met him again since then, but he's a really fucking nice guy. So on a good note for good YouTubers, he's definitely at the, Probably, you know, in the sort of top, top area of my list. He's a really nice guy. And I've met, like, loads of YouTubers, but Syndicate is a really fucking nice guy. So if you get a chance to meet him, if you have a different experience, like, you know, if you think he's a, you think he's a cunt, there must be some reason, because he's a fucking nice guy. I can't wait to meet him one day. To be day. fair with Syndicate, like, I mean, I can't, say, I can't say I've watched Syndicate. I don't think I've ever actually watched a Syndicate video. Yeah. But obviously I know, obviously I know who he is and stuff. But, um, I mean, some of my favourite... Uh, like I used to watch Joe Soga a hell of a lot. Um, most more so his vlogs. Like vlo vlogs, I think are some of the most boring fucking content on YouTube. But Joe Sog, I watch every single thing he well, does. Well, Syndicate makes but, fantastic um, vlogs as well. Yeah, well, yeah, my mates well, used to watch thing. his vlogs all the time. Him and well, that's the thing. Him and Syndicate are like really good mates. I don't know if you, I, I don't know how much you watch of Syndicate now, but I mean like. A year or two ago, they literally went over to Ireland for St. Uh, St. Patrick's yeah, yeah, Day. That's, cool. that's yeah, That's nice. And honestly, that's one of the things I really liked about it was how genuine it was. So many YouTubers, as, especially in the circle Joe Sugg would tend to run with, 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 a, with a family friendly, like, come on, we're, we're your friend, we're the, boy, we're the boy or girl next door, we're your best friend yeah. type shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they and they had to always had to present. Uh, look, this is who I am. I'm a. I just do beauty, and I just I just hang out with my friends and shit. But Joe Sugg was always there. Yeah, mate, I get pissed and film it sometimes. And him and Syndicate were like a really good. I mean, they fucking. I uh, one of the one of the videos of them out St. Patrick's Day. They literally Syndicate's jumping in a, in a fucking cubicle toilet and breaks the toilet. <laughs> <so> <laughs> amazing, honestly. Yeah. I don't think I don't think I've laughed so much at a YouTube That's video brilliant. as I did at that point. Yeah, it's but I mean Syndicate just seems sound. Like, I've only ever seen him in other people's videos. Yeah. But, speaking of um, I mean, yeah. speaking of big YouTubes and stuff, how about we talk about the algorithm of YouTube? 
Yeah, I mean, I mean, well, I mean, Syndicate's a good example of that because it's like you know he used to be on top of the world really when it came to views and stuff, and obviously he's fine now. Like, you yeah, know, it'll be sorted for life whether he gets ten views a video. For yeah, minutes, he was the biggest years. YouTuber in the UK for a long time, wasn't he? Oh yeah, he was. Yeah. Well, yeah, but that's the thing, obviously. But the algorithm is very much he doesn't try and play the algorithm or play to play up to the algorithm well he's yeah. more of a and i don't because, know if you've seen recently and because, because i think we're about to get properly get into this I'm yes, gonna go. Ding. <laughs> Shit, there we go but I, i'm gonna say just just um while you guys are pouring your shots drinking your shots whatever i'm just gonna say um he's he's again more moved towards twitch once again because obviously he normally and used to always do the daily vlogs yeah uh, yeah, yeah i remember that life to tom or whatever it was. yeah 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 and he stops those because of the pandemic. And every now oh, really? and then, yeah, yeah, he stopped them because of well, the Matt pandemic. Actually, yeah, fair and right. every now and then, that's, that's when Matt started. <laughs> yeah, 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 pussy. <laughs> every, every now and then, um, every now and then, he's like uploading a collective one. But he's mainly on Twitch now, and he's got like some like forty thousand subscribers on there or whatever it is, followers, whatever you call them on Twitch. <clears throat> and like, if you're thinking like to subscribe or follow or whatever a Twitch channel, it's like five or six pounds, dollars, whatever, you know. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Oh shit, is that how it works I mean, on Twitch? Is yeah, it like OnlyFans? Yeah. yeah, essentially, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, you can well you, you can follow people, but to actually subscribe is like four ninety nine or something. Yeah, yeah. Right, okay. That's that's quite good though. I didn't realise I so thought it was gonna fun. be like why has he only got forty k followers? Like, no, that's that's actually quite sick. No, 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 if you think <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, that's great. That's it's amazing, what the fuck? Four, yeah. Forty K forty K times five pound. Like, you know, you're, nice. you're, you're, yeah, you're yeah, looking yeah, at like over hundred and that, and and that and that's every month. Yeah, you're looking at yeah. 100k a like, month. I mean, it's a case. I mean, it's. I mean, the thing with Twitch as well is it's a case of there's so many YouTubers flocking there because it's a case of. It takes a lot less on Twitch to be successful. Well, yeah. it's like that as well. Like people like, can send donations as well and give. If if somebody, for example, I've seen a lot on Tom's Twitch like Twitch things. Uh, people gift subs and he gets the money for them gifting those subs as well. So like right, some some people just want, some people are there like gifting like ten subs. Just, but the thing with Twitch as well is it's like people just want to feel recognised. Yeah. Like people freak out. I mean people freak out on. It's like stands freak out on Twitter. Like you know I mean I've seen it sometimes when someone will someone will tweet a big YouTuber then that big YouTuber will like their tweet. Yeah. yeah. And that tweet will have 50 replies from their friends going, Oh my God, yes. you know it's... Yeah, yeah, they, say, it, oh they say all their name in capital <laughs> goes, letter. Yeah. They're like, yeah, so in, they're like Stephen, what the fuck? Yeah. And it goes in their fucking bio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like, oh, this, this person liked my tweet on this date. It's like, I mean, come on, you're going to regret that mm. when you grow yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's, um, there's a lot of them as well, which I've seen. And there's nothing wrong with this, because I used to be like this. But like, they'll reply saying like, for example, they'll say, oh my God, their friends will be like, Stephen, what the fuck? Then they'll go like, oh my God, Stephen, Joe Sug loves you. And yeah. I'm just like, you, pro yeah. you know, it, it's a nice thought, but you probably... Probably doesn't, and the only reason I'm saying that is because I've been a fanboy myself. I stand whatever the fuck you call it. I've been a fanboy myself, and as soon as I stopped being a fanboy, I actually ended up becoming proper mates with the YouTubers. The, the example is uh, Alex uh, Marsbar. As soon as I stopped being a fanboy of him, he actually probably started to like me a bit more, and we actually started chatting like normal. That's, just because I stopped yeah. being a fucking well, the, freak. Well, but, that's the thing with the, with the, with the fanboys. This this is the kind of thing I wanted to maybe we, we could just skim through this. Yeah. But, I mean, this is the thing I kind of wanted to talk about earlier with the fan culture thing is that. People yeah. think being obsessed with a YouTuber and liking and replying to every tweet within seconds is going to make you uh, give you a relationship with that person. So if yeah, it's yeah. going to push them away because they're so scared of. I was just about to say, yeah. Being yeah, yeah, yeah. Replied to. I mean, I don't think it's not. Like, it's not necessarily like awful because I mean, like there's there's like Amy who always replies to my tweets. You know what I mean? She's got an account dedicated to me. Like it doesn't scare me. I love it. I love how much she interacts yeah, with she me. She seems sound. Exactly. Yeah. No, she is cool. That's that's the whole point. Why? So shout out Amy. Um, but. I think it's different for different people. Like I've I've known YouTubers who are like, who have been like freaked out by their subscribers, by their fans, whatever. Like for example, when we're at like upload event and like the the YouTubers like run into the fucking green room and I'm watching them come in and they're like, "Fuck me, it's fucking crazy out there. I can't deal with how annoying they are." I'm like, "What the fuck are you on about? How is it annoying?" But then I suppose everyone probably starts it's... off like that and then ends up. Yeah. Yeah, no, I was gonna say. I think it, I think that's definitely kind of a. I mean, let's be. You don't get you don't get into doing YouTube if you don't need some kind of validation. Yeah. Like let's not let's let's not mess about. There's some. There's a hole in everybody. Everybody who does YouTube videos, there's a hole inside them that they need to fill with the approval of others. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> For me, it just happens to be my mates liking my videos. <laughs> yeah. Well. Literally, 
But but it's literally a case of I feel like everyone, if you don't if you don't grow up, I mean, especially I, did, I suppose it depends what age you start making YouTube videos. Yeah. But I think I I, I think I must have been I think I was probably seventeen when I started making YouTube videos, and when me when me and my mate started it, it was like. Oh yeah, but you know, if we, if we get if we get big on YouTube, girls might like us. <laughs> bro, 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 I'm and not like, gonna lie to you. I was talking to somebody last night about this, and I said, I said, I actually said to this person last night, "Do you think the reason why I had successful like relationships in the past was because of my popularity?" And they replied saying yes. And I've never been oh. so hurt in my life. <laughs> bro. No, I, I think you're a nice guy, Sam. But, <laughs> well, see, the thing is, that's part of the. Re I, it's kind of hard to feel sorry for YouTubers sometimes mm. because because it's yeah, but it's the same with like celebrities and stuff like with this in the in lockdown and stuff when they're going oh you know lockdown's been hard and like yeah it must be hard swimming swimming across your 15 swimming pools mate. Yeah. But people don't get um, it though. People don't get what they're going through. It's you don't know what's inside someone's head. No, no, no. But what, but what I mean is obviously, I think, but I think perspective is important. Yeah, but yeah. It's yeah. A case, but it's also, but it's also a case of like with, like with YouTube, it's, it's a case of like you are never gonna know. That's why. So I mean, so many people, so many celebrities talk about the day ones and the, and the people that have been with them from the beginning. But realistically, yeah, it must, it must be so hard to get to be friends with people. At all, once you're big, yeah. Because yeah. even if your friends, if you're friends with anyone who is smaller than you, yeah. Like on your on YouTube, if you're if you've got a million subscribers, and someone who's got four hundred k starts talking to you, how are you gonna know if they're talking to you because they think you sound, or if they think, yeah. oh, oh, I can if get we a make video, a video together, this, yeah. I could get their yeah. audience or shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. That that is something it's, you've got to be careful of. <clears throat> And but the thing with relationships as well, because you obviously you're gonna you're gonna people tend to emotionally invest a lot more in relationships than they do in friendships. Yeah. So I mean, like you say, Sam, it's a case of, you know, how are you gonna how are you gonna know if someone is actually into you, or if they're into you because oh well this person's quite famous. Yeah. yeah. See, I um, I think it's quite sad really. Think, it's that, that I listened to that I before I nearly died the other day. I listened to that Justin Bieber song the. Oh, what's it called? Lonely or whatever it is. But that's that's about yeah. like having everyone like know everything. Everyone wants to be your friend, but like you still feel alone Every, and shit. Everyone loves you, and everyone loves you, and therefore no one loves you. Yeah, so that's, exactly. That's, that's the issue. Like I, I know, <clears throat> I actually know a couple of people that have had some form of popularity. I'm not going to name names, obviously, because I. Yeah, I, I don't know if they... Just before, just, sorry, Sam. Just before you get into it, I hate to say we have changed topic. Fox so, <laughs> well, you yeah, but I'll have that in a minute. But yeah. Um, <laughs> You can't argue it, but go on. <laughs> but yeah, like I, I know a couple of people where it's it's mainly girls. Go, like I hate to say it, but it's mainly girls going for guys that are YouTubers. I I don't know any yeah. guy like personally. Yeah, anyway, so. this is personal. This is personal. Uh, so it could oh, be completely yeah. different out there. <clears throat> but personally, I don't know any guys that have gone for a, a popular or famous or whatever female. Whereas I know yeah. like three or four females that have gone for a popular guy. Right. Um, okay. I, 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 I would say I don't know. I've got loads of my mates who are trying to trying to chat to Lauren Alexis. <laughs> well, yeah, that's Lauren well, Alexis. That's a different well, man, mate. <laughs> well, the thing is, I feel like I feel like it's more on the other foot. I feel like it's girls. And I think females who are in a good position like that, like on YouTube, let's say, or you know, just social media, that sort of thing. I think females are a lot more wary. Yeah. So they know. I mean, first of all, I think they're a lot more wary generally, just in relationships, whether you're famous on social media right, or not. Okay. Yeah. But. But when you're famous on social media, a lot of the thing. I mean, I think I think a lot of a lot of guys, or maybe maybe it's more maybe it is more towards straight guys, and it's maybe it's a different mentality. But I think it's a lot of growing up. One of your things is like, oh, you know, I, I want girls to fancy yeah, yeah, me. I yeah. want that sort of thing. Yeah. yeah. So when you and it and it's just kind of standard. If you become big on YouTube, you bec you become big on social media. Yeah. You are going to have a lot of girls. That like you, whether they actually like you, whether right, right, there's the you, idea, or they like you yeah. because of, or they like, or they like the idea of you, or they like how many no, the numbers, whatever. You are gonna have a lot of girls that like yeah. you, yeah. And they say it, it's the exact same for girls, except girls. A lot of girls, I think, don't grow up going. I hope a lot of boys like me. Okay, boys right, tend yeah. to like girls. Any that makes sense. Boys tend to like girls anyway. Yeah. yeah, let's be real here. Girls like you know, boys will boys will like girls. Regardless, yeah, girls will like boys. Maybe mm. 
if you get what I mean. Yeah. So it's kind of. But I, I don't know. You know um, like, I'm, I'm going to stop us using, there. Though. Using Lauren Alexis. Oh. Using Lauren. Using Lauren Alexis. It's like, you know, she's going to have thousands of guys. Probably. I mean, she. I think she said on the Happy Hour podcast. She's had celebrities. She's had all these people in her DMs. And she just don't re- just doesn't reply to them because she knows because she's not a fucking idiot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas, yeah she gets it. Let, we're, we're, whereas, let's be honest. If I get if I get a million subscribers in the next week and I get Lauren Alexis in my DMs, mate, you're replying. I'm replying. You're replying. To me. <laughs> I'm, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, you know, let, let's let's not fuck about. There's, there's there's a different there's a difference in mentality there, and I think it's a case of. You know, so to, when it comes to be honest, to... though, Stephen, you're just thinking, wait, a girl's fucking messaged me? Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> no, but back Congrats, on top, back on topic, back on topic, though, we didn't talk <laughs> about saying. anything to do with the algorithm here, and we've, <laughs> we've now talked about half a. I'm 10 sorry, minutes. mate. This sounds more exciting than the algorithm. No, 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 <laughs> yeah, no. To be fair, no, to be fair, to be fair, we, yeah, no, to be fair, we did speak a little bit about well, it. Yeah. And we went in something more interesting. Yeah, very true. Yeah, no offense. I mean, well, I have, I don't do anything to fit the algorithm i swear on my videos i put my friends naked in my videos i fit nothing at all so i'm really the wrong person to talk to ah fair play, fair algorithm. play. i mean to be fair well i mean to be fair with the algorithm i kind of when it comes to the algorithm the algorithm from what i from what i know which isn't a lot but what i know is basically long videos that keep people watching for a long time like that's basically it they, because YouTube wants people on the site for as long as possible, so yeah. they show them more ads. And Stephen recently but, found um, out in the last couple of months that if you put KSI in the title, it bangs views. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You know, you're, you're not wrong. Even the fucking like, even the um, I, I've got uh, like mates in group chats who are like, "This fucking K, this KSI is gonna get a restraining order on you." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking, yeah. <laughs> but li- but literally, the thing, I mean. The KSI masturbating one, that was kind of, that was kind of, that was definitely shithouse. But the Jake Paul, the Jake Paul fight one, K, I did, I think I mentioned KSI once and that was like, oh yeah, we're KSI fans, this is a shame. Yeah. And it wasn't even slightly convincing, but yeah, his name yeah, yeah. and the title still did okay. And it's like, I mean, I don't have any sh- I don't, I, I mean, clearly, because I'm a commentary channel, I don't have any shame in putting people's names in the title. Yeah, 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 respect whatever. that. So speaking but about it's... people like Jake Paul, then, um, who do you, you think... really don't want to get me talking about Jake Paul with five? No, I was going to say who, who do you who do you think's the <laughs> most overrated YouTubers? Overrated YouTubers. Yeah. Oh, I've drank well, I've drank well, you too much. I tell you what, Sam. I tell you what, Sam. Well, first first of all, hey, that's what I wanted to hear. <laughs> uh, I tell you what, Sam. We've had more shots in this episode than I expected to end up having. <laughs> And you know what, tequila was an interesting decision. I'm going to say that. Yeah, I heard, Steven, I heard you crazy, say tequila. Mate. You are fucking why, why do you think mate, I'm? Why do you think this mate, entire episode? Mate, I'm after the most we've recorded this episode, I just want to record another episode. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stephen, I'm like, welcome back to the Happy Hour podcast. Happy Hour podcast. <laughs> mate, oh, it's, 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 quarter, it's quarter to four in the fucking afternoon. Yeah, I've got to go for a meal later. Tequila. <laughs> 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 Good <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna have to try and find a Zoom sesh tonight. I can't just leave it like yeah. this. <laughs> but yeah, overrated okay. YouTubers, right, guys. Alright, shot, shot, shot. Overrated, overrated YouTubers. YouTubers. That's that's yeah. a deep question, you know. Um, I, oh, you, you guys, Would you, you can't ask me these right, questions I'll, about people who I don't I'm, like or whatever, or think we're overrated. I, will, I'm, I'm I just say, can't do it. Um, without, without your biased opinion on Jake Paul, do you think he is a genuine overrated YouTuber, based on his content, not who he is? Um, I, to be honest with you, what do you mean by overrated? Because like, I don't know if, from, from my understanding, I don't know anyone who actually rates him except from me and George TG. I don't know anyone. Well, well uh, <laughs> I, I personally don't know anyone that rates him. He gets a lot of views. He yeah, but he just views. gets a lot of views. He gets, he's got he gets so many views. He gets all that sort of shit. People watch people watch Jake Paul. Right. But and I mean, it's like if he's getting three million views on a video, he's not he's not getting three million hate watches. Yeah. No. Is it maybe getting a million hate watches, not three? <laughs> well, I sent a drunk message to the chat the other night with my friends in, and I said this about Jake Paul, uh, and I will say this proudly, right? Jake Paul, if you honestly think that Jake Paul is actually like a, a, a nasty guy, you are so fucking delusional. There is no way in hell he's actually a cunt, right? I watched a TikTok of a guy who said that he used to work with him, and he was actually a nice guy. Everyone just thinks he's a twat because he acts like a twat. So I, I know say, for a fact everyone hates Jake Paul because Jake Paul wants you to hate him. Jake Paul yeah. wants you to... Every time someone mentions him, you say, oh, I fucking hate that guy. 
He knows. See, for exactly example, we're, we're talking. Yeah, Him and we're Logan wouldn't have got. Right. They wouldn't have got as far as they would now if they weren't masters at marketing and doing what they're doing. They know exactly what they're doing. Jake Paul is a perfect I example don't... of someone who is playing the whole world because every single day people are saying what fucking idiot Jake Paul is. Yeah. Whereas these are the same people that are giving him clout, giving him views, and giving him attention. Jake Paul knows that you hate him. Jake Paul wants you to hate him. And I will proudly say that because <laughs> it's fucking like, obvious. This sounds like a marketing campaign for Jake Paul. Yeah, well, yeah. that's pretty alive. much what my channel was like. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, to be to be to be fair, I I agree to a certain extent. I mean, even Joe well, even Joe Weller said that he interviewed him for the boxing, and he was like, um, before before the cameras went on, he was just like, I wouldn't agree that he's a nice guy. I think he's probably still a bit of a dick. Even Logan didn't like him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but again, just, like. You don't know him. I can't say that he's definitely a nice guy because I haven't met him. But oh, you can't really oh, say yeah, he's definitely no. well, a bad I mean, guy because you don't know him personally. Yeah. It's the same as him being yeah, an actor. No, we, we, the Green we, Goblin we, is a fucking dickhead. But I'm sure William Defoe is actually probably quite a nice guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you see what I mean? It's a character. The what whole Shane Dawson series. The, re the realisation of the Shane Dawson series was, oh my God, maybe he's not the same on camera. No shit, of course he's not the same on camera. He wants you to think he's a dickhead. So you keep talking about him. Of course he's different. I, I, to be fair, the Shane Dawson series on I Jake Paul, I quite enjoyed. I think the realisation from the Shane Dawson series was maybe Shane Dawson shouldn't be making documentaries. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, other. do we have time for another overrated YouTuber or do you think not? Oh What's yeah, it? no, I mean, I think we've got a few minutes left at least. Well, there's, I mean, on I was... my end, there's one minute, 45 seconds left. My camera's about to die. One minute, 45 seconds. Yeah. All right, so in that case, I would just quickly agree with Matt in saying you can make the point that you don't know any YouTubers, technically, so, you know, the, what you see on camera might not be what you get. But yeah, yeah. we're a podcast that's going to be slagging off YouTubers. Yeah, like, like, we, we, we just had a great to, debate on Jake we can Paul. Only, we, can only, you know? we can only take things at face value. Yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> it's the same with me and Sid. You know, like, if all those accusations that came out about Syndicate this year were true, then I could say everything I've said is utter bullshit and he's actually a bit yeah. of a prick. Whereas in my yeah. opinion, when I've met him, he seems like a nice guy, whereas that could nice all be taken guy. out of the window if I actually knew what he's like, but I don't know. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> and on, on that note, I think we're going to have to end this episode. This episode turned out to be a lot drunker than I expected. Yes, yeah, well, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I don't normally get this fucking heated. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, Jake Paul no, knows he's, he's doing this to me. Too. The bastard he knows what he's doing. <laughs> But yeah, guys, this has been the uh, Pull One Out podcast. If you enjoyed it, make Checks sure you hit us on socials. Yeah. Check us out on Twitter and Insta, the at Pull One Pod. Uh, it's on the screen right now. Uh, check us out on Apple Mu Apple Podcasts and Spotify. And, if you want, and TikTok. It's on YouTube. And TikTok, yeah. And TikTok, yeah. at Pull One Pod. Then we go we're on TikTok it's for a bit, as long as we can hack it. <laughs> But yeah, guys, I, uh, Matt's camera's about to die. Yeah, Matt's camera's about to die, so we're going to be posting clips on Twitter, and we will, well, 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 we'll see you in the next episode <laughs> next Wednesday. See, see you next Wednesday. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next podcast, guys. Thank you very much.